Hi, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome, welcome. We're here for you. This is your 2020 to 2021 Mars retrograde reading. And wow, what a cycle we're speaking on here. This is actually your co-ruler, right? Scorpio, you're ruled by both Mars and Pluto. So we're really bringing up a number of questions when it comes to how it is that you process also whatever aspect of your chart relates to the archetype of Scorpio. So um, in addition, Aries, of course, right? Whereas we're reading on uh, you know, Mars being the ruler of both Scorpio and Aries. Now, let's jump into it. I'm seeing someone's a little nervous. I'm hearing there's a little bit of tension here. I just finished the Gemini reading. There could be a focus on that archetype. You came through real strongly in that reading. So feel free to take it as you will, whatever you feel guided to read on. Now, uh, this is really important. I'm hearing in this way with the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun of Pentacles, Pentacles, the Magician, the Father of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Son of Cups as well, I'm hearing as a focus of the Eight of Cups at the base of that card, the Magician looks in the future. Now, by the way, before we begin, dear Scorpio, thank you all so much for tuning in to you. It is going by rather quickly. You can slow it down by clicking the three little dots at the base of the reading, and you'll be able to adjust the speed there. In addition, I'm working with the cards, but I'm also channeling, so whatever energies I'm interacting with, I'll relay that to you. Magician, you're looking in the future. I'm hearing, I know. It's not a question. I'm hearing it like that. The death card here as well in the theme, mirroring the magician. I have known, actually, if it really comes down to it. it. It's not the question that I that I answer with an answer. It's, I'm hearing, it's a position that I take on. And to do that, I'm hearing, I have to know, not what I know only, but know who I am in that space of acting upon it. Wow. So. At what point do I realize I identify my dream, right? It's like where I come forth and I say, this is something I dream of. And it's I who dreams of it. It's my dream. And I don't want to lend that feeling, right, to anyone else. Ten of Pentacles coming through again at the apex of the spread. Um, for number this is a space of reconnecting with your passion, identifying how you connect your passion, really thinking, you know, am I being honest in that space of saying that, yeah, I want that. Yeah, that's something that I feel like resonate with, that I that I, that I see myself carry out over time. For no reason, that really to your gifts. Now, let's uh, jump into it. Let's get some more light here for you. I'm hearing Aries, Aquarius, for no reason, a really big conversation coming. It's uh, it's meant to be awkward. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it in this way. It's 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 meant to 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 test i'm hearing you you like that i'm hearing as well and you know we we are in that space of of of, of university i'm hearing the the test that we take now i'm well i'm hearing in 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 the lesson room i'm hearing that is more than just the theory, um, but also the practice, not just of the answers that we feel are right to the questions that we've been sort of reviewing, I'm hearing that, like over and over, to these people from whatever way, but really like the, the 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 answers that we I'm hearing we ask in 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 terms of I'm hearing in relation to actually rather what we are doing I'm hearing in this world at this time the mother wants in other words I'm seeing someone in a university they're like okay this is ironic I'm hearing that I'm even here wow five of cups in reverse okay we're gonna be pulling a card for every room I'm hearing in the university all right for the whole that for every month <laughs> well then we were gonna do a month by month spread okay um. Uh, between July 25th and January 2nd. So this is a pretty long cycle. We're moving through actually July 25th, 2020 into January 2nd, 2021. Um, okay. And so apparently they're classrooms. Every month here for you, Scorpio is a new lesson learned. Okay. Mom, wonderful. Now, whatever it is, let's get the lighting right. <laughs> because I'm hearing it is instrumental, actually. It is, it is instrumental. All right. And... <laughs> Um, it's funny because I'm seeing that you're really processing a lot around this time, Scorpio, but it's almost like, again, I'm seeing you in university, you're like, it's so funny. I'm seeing you invert from that space of the student, okay, in the classroom, in the so-called classroom, where you're like, why, wait, 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 why am I here? I'm hearing them like, specifically, what's the test room in relation to the university used for? Wow. So there are some pretty big, possibly even philosophical questions that you are really reviewing around this time as well when it comes to how it is that you see yourself in relation to your passion your dreams your desires for me you are in love with someone a scorpio let's just let's just see it as that okay even if we don't necessarily start talking about it at first in that way now for number i don't want to say that there was a reluctance or a hesitance at a certain point in time to address a certain space of absolute desire but um 
at a certain point, Scorpio would realize, well, it's so much of the way that I see it. And again, it comes back to that notion of, if I have this passion, right? If I know that I love this thing, whatever it is, who am I as the person who loves it? Who am I in the space of loving it? Taking on the role as, I'm hearing specifically, um, you know, not Romeo as like the idea that 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 William Shakespeare had in mind uh, in relation to the role of Juliet that William Shakespeare had in mind, but rather how is it that I see myself as having embarked upon this journey I'm hearing of uh, the entrancement with this script. Wow, this is so philosophical. What in the world? <laughs> Scorpio, we have a lot of planet structure right here. Both the rulers out because Scorpio, we got Mars and Pluto both. <laughs> In a retrograde, you know, a little Scorpio, a lot here that we're reviewing. Um, and that's good. I'm hearing that's good because what comes forth is honesty. I'm hearing, right, purification at the end of that storyline. What at the end of the story is the punchline? Whatever it is, it'll be known. I'm hearing that with the Ace of Wands, right? Like, ye, you can bet, bet, okay, that once you get through the script, you'll know every aspect of the character i'm hearing that you that you play it wow so i don't know what that's saying as well <laughs> okay <start me> up. <laughs> don't be afraid oh no worries. we only have we only have saturn retrograde pluto we have uranus <laughs> we have um well at the time of this recording mercury as well venus is in a post shadow yeah <laughs> okay we got a lot, 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 lot that's up for not just review, but purification. I'm hearing that with the East Wolf. Like, truth will always be known. I don't care how long it takes for it to become, I'm hearing what it wants to become, right? It's like, can you really tame the flame? I'm hearing that with the Seven of Wands upright. <laughs> sounds like a song. Ace of Wands upright, Sun in Reverse, you know, at the end of the day. Can you really tell the fire to chill? <laughs> chill, chill, temperance right there coming through. Yeah, f f fanning the flame out. Is that really realistic, right? To like take passion and try to wield it. I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing ergonomically, like think about that, taking a fire and actually trying to like funnel it almost in, in a certain direction. For a number of you, there's something that I'm hearing, it's ironic almost, you're wild about this space. It's something maybe even of an aspect of your being. You're like, I know that this is a, a characteristic that I embody. It's actually, I'm hearing for a number of you, I'm hearing in my DNA, I'm hearing script, screenplay writer, daughter wants to write, two of cups upright. And I'm hearing, I don't wanna play the reverse role of that. I don't wanna act like it's not actually written out i'm hearing with my name in in the script wow so yeah for no you, you suddenly i'm hearing you you i'm hearing you actually you show up i'm hearing you show up for your passion is what i'm hearing specifically scorpio and what is with the light the light the light play here now this is reminding me of an of another reading it was oh i don't call the month anyone who may re remember please comment it um and um and uh because i feel that it is related i'm hearing that like specifically it was Scorpio on a stage, like, working with the lights, and they were kind of, like, they were kind of tweaking the light thing, okay? And they were maybe, you know, strategically sort of orienting certain lights, positioning them in certain ways, and I'm seeing, like, people, like, on the stage kind of, like, wait, so what's going on with the lights? And so take it as you will. Um, temperance is going to be you preparing for something, presenting something. Ten of Wands, yeah, something becomes so obvious. Well, not just obvious, yeah, the Emperor. It's like, wait, hold on, are they going to go home without me? Oh, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm seeing a dog, like, on the beach even. They're like, I don't want to go home. And it's like the owner, like, gets in the car. They're like, all right, I'm hearing you're going to keep bouncing with the ball, right? <laughs> You're cool with the waves, the tide, you know, it's gonna get tall, tall, tall. I'm hearing the full moon is coming. I'm hearing that as well, the chariot. Interesting. So for a number of you, maybe something that you wanna admit, okay? And you maybe even wanna acknowledge it in a public way. And possibly for a number of you, there's just a lot that's building up in that space, a lot that's becoming really obvious. Uh, um, as uh, I'm hearing uh, a, uh, a, a, a relational space, just look at the clock, it was 9.09 and uh, then it flipped to 9.11. So yeah, splitting right there, the Sun of Swords of Bright, Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm seeing someone kind of becomes a little, they get a little freaked. They're like, oh my God, wait, am I gonna really miss out on the opportunity? Ace of Cups right there with the chariot. For me, this is something like, it comes to the point of surrender, surrendering to the passion. Like when I say that I do want this, when I actually say it, and I don't just like dance around the bush of the attraction, when I come through and say it, that's when I seal the letter. It's not in this like hallway of like, hello and goodbye, I'm hearing that I will arrive at the end of it. Wow, very interesting. I'm seeing someone even maybe stalking someone to use you well. They're like, 
popping in and out. They suddenly realize, and no judgment, we've all got Scorpio somewhere, we all are grappling with certain energies, it's all reflective. There's no necessary right, wrong, even neutral. So, but it gets to the point where maybe I'm, what I'm seeing is that someone feels the frustration of not actually acting on what it is that possibly at times they, they have realized time and time again that they want. Now, for no reason, someone's getting freaked out. They're like, oh my God, am I going to lose the opportunity? I'm hearing that Ace of Cups in the chariot. Someone rushes in. I'm hearing that specifically with the chariot and the Ace of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups is marrying two of cups. Maybe someone bumps into someone. Maybe they see someone that can even be in, in a public space. I'm hearing W. I'm hearing the letter W. I'm hearing W E. Well, uh, wealth, well, wealth, wharf. I'm hearing love. Oh God, temperance of the right. The chariot. Someone sees someone. I'm hearing maybe even with their family. Uh, explain to the mother swords in reverse. This is something I'm seeing two people like for a, at a long distance from one another. They're like, is she gonna wait for me? I'm seeing someone even when you see someone in line. It's like kind of awkward. It's like you know when you see someone that you know and you're like, this is my chance. Okay. There's a card that just fell on the ground. We'll get to it. Um, and it's like, oh my God, is this the moment where we're finally going to come out with this? We're finally going to communicate about it? And um, it's interesting because Scorpio, for a number of you possibly, <laughs> there is a little bit of this, like, it's funny. I'm hearing waiting game. It's like a waiting game. Higher fall in reverse, whatever the two cups up right. Somebody literally, they're like, am I going to lose my chance, my opportunity to talk to her? I'm hearing that specifically. Higher fall in reverse. Looking over at the seven of cups. I mean, I said seven of cups, but it's a seven of wands. Okay. So maybe for a number of you, there's a little bit of this feeling of like, is it the right time? Is it the right time? Ah, ah, ah. Like really wanting to even time it out in such a way where it's going to make sense also for others in the environment. Maybe for a number of you, this is a social thing where there are factors in the environment that are just like kind of throwing the dog a bone repetitively and the dog running after the bone is like making for some sort of distraction where it's like, oh, it keeps, I'm hearing messing up the vibe. I'm hearing that like specifically. Um, yeah. Okay. The moon is upright. Yeah. So there's been a lot of, not always say hiding, masquerading, a lot of waiting specifically. And you know, call it what you will, there is just a lot of pending, I'm hearing, in, 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 in place of the position that is taken on. Now, maybe for a reason, it's just been divine timing, and it just hasn't happened, I'm hearing it hasn't happened to present um, quite yet, like, maybe for a number of you, you feel like you've had a number of opportunities to introduce yourself, even, let's say, to someone, and it just never really happened. I'm hearing, I never got off the ground, and um, I'm hearing, yeah, I want to introduce myself. Now, I'm seeing someone with, real, their hands are so they're sweating <laughs> they're like oh my goodness so maybe they're even holding a piece of paper or a book they were maybe reading they were sitting somewhere and reading and like they're just like so nervous okay now in front of you got whatever it was like they wanted the chance to introduce themselves now whatever it was though <laughs> Scorpio <laughs> I'm seeing that at a certain point I'm hearing I'm hearing will 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 uh, will will you will you I'm hearing that as well will you will you will for now you will you go out with me <laughs> the higher fine red you gifts for a number of you I'm hearing will you marry me okay with the higher fine again oh wait, wait will you go have some ice cream with me I'm hearing that magician as well the three of why I'm seeing someone they got this like um it's a ticklish feeling in the sacral chakra it's like you're kind of like I don't know it's like a giggly kind of I'm hearing Goldilocks uh, going to Grandma's house feeling. I don't know what that was going to do. What are we doing with the Goldilocks thing? Okay. You, you know what? Is this happening with Willy Wonka? What's going on with Willy in relation to to Grandma? The road that leads to Grandma's house as well. And uh, yeah, but, but, but I'm hearing that. That's that's a burp in the script. Okay, that's not the point. I'm hearing that like specifically. I'm seeing bubbles like being blown. Higher front here, right over the two of cups. It's like... We know that at the end of the day, I'm hearing no actually means yes as well. Let's clear that. Okay, so for a number of you, yes. Someone's like, I know I was intimidation. I'm hearing that as well. Like, I know that it wasn't really, yeah, Father Cup. Ooh, Barbie always had the death card here. I was holding on to that death with the death card on the face of it. And we shuffled it again, and out comes the Father Cups on top of the death card. So for a number of you, it's been an attraction. It's been building. It's been this knowingness now. But what it comes down to is... I'm hearing the law of nines. I'm hearing that specifically. And I'm hearing Persephone here with the daughter of wands, the two of cups. I almost have the daughter of cups. So for a number of you, maybe there is this little bit question of like, well, you know, there's a really strong attraction, but it's the physical side of the interaction. And when I say attraction, what I'm really feeling is on an energetic, emotional level, even spiritually, you know that let's say there has been i'm hearing so much also to this space in the past maybe a past life connection of some kind that you feel you pick up on that it almost like um it it, it, it is like another character in the room when brought to interact with the physical i'm hearing sort of characterization or personage of the emotional bond wow so it's like how it's like i'm seeing oh, it's very interesting i'm seeing like Two people who once they have a certain connection, they almost like they they separate into different people. Like this is their emotional body, this is this is their physical body, and then it's like these different so-called people or 
parts to their persona uh, are then to interact with one another and it's like okay well my physical side let's say of my uh, of myself is now to confront and meet with let's say the physical side to the um, aspect of let's say how you perceive of this connection how you interpret this connection maybe also um, by way of that the emotional side because it's all sort of connected it's interesting but it's also perhaps clear for a number of you that there is a distinction point when it comes to how we channeled this connection in a physical way. So in other words, maybe for a number of you, there is this really, really strong connection that you feel, that you feel so deeply, you're like, I know that I also want this. <laughs> Take a breath, Scorpio, when the daughter wants it, right? See someone sweating, I'm telling you, they're fucking sweating. They're like, Ugh. but when it comes to the translation of that, even on a physical level, or when you just physically meet this person, like that's when the marbles start kind of rolling around. For an I'm reminded of that one scene in that Pisces uh, reading. It was, uh, I think, for the full moon in Scorpio um, a little while back, and it was like someone who gets on the bus, they like, they're about to meet with someone, and they like hype it up in their, in, in their mind. They're like, all right. I'm gonna like show up, I'm gonna like act like this, I'm gonna like, you know, I'm hearing swagger A team, I don't know what that was like. They're listening to music, they're getting all pumped up before they get on the bus, they're gonna meet up with this person on the bus. All right, it's gonna be metaphorical, take as you will. What does the bus resemble? Um, it speaks of transit, okay, specifically, and I can, I don't always take it as you will, but yeah, on the in reverse. Now, um, I'm here on the first date, I'm hearing that specifically, okay. Then you like show up and see this person gets on the bus and like they see the person sitting on the bus and they're so freaking nervous. It's like, I can't even, I can't even describe this feeling. It's like, I'm not in the stomach feeling. It's like the butterfly cannot fly. <laughs> sort of feeling like butterflies in the stomach, can't, they, they cannot even fly. They're like so nervous. Like, I don't know what is like frozen butterflies in the sacral chakra. Let's clear that. <laughs> so, okay, anyways, now let's really clear that. For whenever someone was really nervous, they're like, do they realize how nervous I am here? That was all, let's clear that. Now, I'm seeing that, um, I'm hearing, let me just pretend that I'm not wearing makeup. I'm hearing that as well. Daughter wants it, right? Interesting. I'm seeing that as in relation to the two of cups, I'm seeing two people sitting on the ledge. Okay, it's like a stone hinge. I'm hearing that as well. Now, for a number of you, it's very interesting. I'm seeing even people like, this is a very sacral space. Sa sacral space. <laughs> I'm telling you as well. It's a sacred space with a hierophant. It could even be some sort of like structure. I'm hearing megalithic. I'm hearing that with the hierophant. The daughter wants and the two of cups now is some sort of past life connection. It's, very, it's a sacred moment, perhaps, as well, that's shared between. Uh, you know, you and another, or maybe you feel that this is an aspect of your being that is really, really kind of like special now, um, and has a lot of potential now. But for a number of you, it's funny. I'm seeing like then again, this person shows up on the bus, and when they see this person sitting on the bus, it's like ultimate recognition. It's like, oh my god, that's them. Not only them, and not only that, that's them, but that this in relation to them is the moment in which we make this connection come full circle and that is so scary to someone i'm hearing it's like that is freaky i'm seeing like heat in 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 the in the aura i'm hearing building now for a number of you this is specifically it's funny i'm hearing in in actually the upper chakras it's something where you know you begin to feel maybe wow this is so sticky eight of cups i'm hearing merging like and it is that point where we begin to sort of let's say so-called merge where we begin to also interact in the physical way that there is the i'm hearing the, the dissolving of the tension of what has been held in a space of stagnancy, also memory, and consider the past. Okay, so the Eight of Cups. So there is something that maybe someone is like realizing by way of moving forward in this direction physically, I release, I dissolve what that tension was. Now, for whenever you've been at a distance with this person, two of wands coming through, daughter shoulders reverse, father, I said father cups, mother cups in reverse. For whenever you've been waiting, you've been waiting to communicate this. Now it's funny because Mother of Cups was missing in the last deck. I got a new deck, you guys, and this is brand new. Same deck by Kim Kranz, um, but uh, the Mother of Cups was missing, and we now have her in this reading here for you. So Mars retrograde possibly really bringing a certain story full circle for you when it comes to also managing the space, sort of the architect of the Mother of Cups. Now, Scorpio, um, did we read off the cards? <laughs> we had a Mother of Cups and Mother of Wands in reverse. Okay, whoa, someone's so nervous. I'm seeing that even the you guys have butterflies like i'm seeing somebody again they see someone at a distance though they see that they're so far away it's like i'm such a clear vision i'm seeing people in a really busy public i'm hearing also auditorium or like some kind of environment they're like they see someone waiting in line they're like kind of far away from them i don't know they're like oh my god they're there there they are i'm hearing there she is i'm hearing that as well and they maybe see even someone like through a window it's like something fog even fogged up i don't know and whatever it is, um, maybe someone's in a car, whatever it is, they're like, oh my gosh, wait, that's them. I'm going to letter G. 
I'm hearing gas, light, oh my gosh, the gas, the, the light is green, I'm hearing that as well, like, so I'm like, oh, ah. do I stop, do I say something, I'm hearing that, like, specifically, it's something about the timing, they're thinking, is this the time, like, is it now, do I, do I do it now, and so, I, what I'm seeing is that this is actually, like, kind of, um, a serendipitous moment, where maybe a number, you know, I'm hearing a number of people, they, they sort of appear in relation to another, wow, so maybe, like, someone's bumping into someone, and, like, they're gonna get their family or something, or a number of other people in the environment, and uh, they feel like they're presenting something in front of someone, in front of, let's say, others as well, and, um, so, for no reason, we go, I have a phone there, okay, we're back, now, um, yeah, for no reason, so something maybe someone felt like was, was also really, not that could have been part of it, nerve-wracking, the eight, the Empress coming through, yeah, so for no reason, I'm hearing, it's really the number eight, you might be seeing them on the eighth of, uh, for no reason, I'm hearing Ju July, okay, that's coming up, I'm filming this on the sixth, seventh, actually, um, so, for no reason, I'm hearing August, I'm hearing September as well, um, Okay, a lot of a lot of numbers here coming through. If you'd like a personal reading, uh, feel free to order via alchemy.com and we can jump into you know more of uh, you know what may be coming up for review here. Mm, yeah, someone was super intimidated. Now this card was on the floor. It might have even been since the Gemini reading. I'm hearing Aries as well. I haven't yet done the Aries reading. We have the strength card here in reverse. This is the archetype of Leo. It speaks of matters of public presentation, right? With the strength card, it's like, I'm coming out and I'm showcasing this. Now, for a number of reasons, it's just a matter of acting on your intuition, like your feeling space. And I'm seeing someone again, they're like at a distance with someone feeling active vision in the crowd chakra. It's like they see someone at a distance. They're like, oh my God, there, there she is. I'm hearing that's her. I'm hearing that's her, that's her, that's her hair. I'm hearing that as well. I don't know. Maybe someone recognizes someone from that big time, son of wands. It's like, I'm seeing someone see someone from behind. They're like, um, that's her. I'm hearing good, good again. I'm hearing hurry, hurry. Um, get her a chair. I'm hearing that's what the emperor. So maybe someone sees someone in an environment that they weren't expecting. They were like, okay, oh my god. I'm hearing two, two, two. I'm hearing two, oh, two as well. Two, two, two t-shirts. Two, two t-shirts. It's maybe in front of you. It's, it's a cafe. You meet someone in a cafe. Like you're just happening. I'm bumping to them. And I'm seeing you like pulling up a chair for someone now, but someone's in line now. It's this type of thing. It's like I'm seeing someone wanting to seal the deal <laughs> like in this way they're like i cannot let this like i can't let this go there's no way like i can't do that i'm hearing that like specifically i can't just let it like slip out of my hands i'm hearing this time as well i'll take it as well but maybe for a number there's something that you just you want to say and it comes to that point of like hello i am like holding on to this letter i'm hearing uh but no more. <laughs> okay, here, take it, take it. It's yours. I'm hearing that with a full writer with someone wants. So maybe someone wants to come through and freaking admit something. They're like, uh, I've been waiting. I'm hearing that as well with the devil at the base of the empress at the base of the someone wants. I'm hearing, I've been wanting this as well. So maybe for an overview, it's something that is not, not actually planned, not strategic. I'm hearing like actually whatsoever. It kind of becomes obvious maybe for an overview. At a certain point, you're like, it's better to offer it than not. And we're here with the Ace of Cups and the Moon. It's funny. I'm seeing someone feels maybe that they have like a limited, like a little window of a, an opportunity to interact with someone or to meet with someone higher from right there. Ooh. This is a proposal for a number of you. Higher front or reverse. Someone's, this is for a number of you. Someone's family is in the environment. I'm hearing that specifically. Now, the high front's actually looking over at the fool. The fool's looking into the future. The justice card between the two is a huge, big time proposal. And for a number of you, I'm hearing, I made you something. <laughs> so, so like, maybe someone has a gift or something. I don't know. They like created something. They, they built something. They wrote something even for a number of big time. They, kind of, they wrote like even a book. Um, and they, I'm hearing they, they are a player. They, they play. Maybe I'm hearing rugby. They play for the team. A team. I'm hearing that as well. I don't know. So you all, maybe they wrote, they wrote something. Now, Justice here, Mary and the Fool. Um, they hand someone a lot of, they hand something to someone. It's like some kind of piece of paper. I'm hearing also property. I don't know what the higher on reverse. I'm hearing will. Let's clear that. Dresses a bright. They fool a bright. The emperor's in reverse. Moon reverse. Someone maybe that was also conf confronting something, like communicating something, also confessing something. You know, big time for number you. High, high priestess upright, mirroring the high front reverse. Now, temperance is in reverse, looking back at the high priestess. All right, <laughs> three of wands up, right? Mirror in the world in reverse. So for a number of you, there is something that you've really been waiting on. I'm hearing it in this way. It's a whirlwind romance. We're just gonna say it like that. And I feel like I've got this tension. Like it's almost like a golf ball in my throat. Let's clear that. Father shows bright, the star. It's like, it's just a matter of the divine timing to offload. I'm hearing the attraction really, that's what it comes down to. The temperance here with the father swords and the star. Now take a look at these cards, really interesting. In the backdrop of this temperance card, we see sort of rainbow color. 
it's similar to that sort of color palette that we see on the Father of Swords, the actual sword of the Father of Swords card. And we see as well the same sort of tone and hue painted upon the star on the star card. So now for your review, this is actually really magical. <laughs> and you know that. And it's something that for a number of you, you've been actually <sighs> testing the waters with. We'll say it as well on the way down to Cups Reverse building. I'm hearing really feet feeling I'm hearing like maybe even meditating on absolute channeling I'm hearing as well mother wants for you're dreaming of someone no question um and uh but it gets to that point where it's like you just happen to run into and for you you don't want to force this space Ace of Wands of Bright Times of Bright you you wanted to just kind of allow it to feel its its own I'm hearing its own two legs its own two feet interesting friend of review I'm hearing also I, I want their blessing on this interesting so I don't know, maybe for another you even want to clarify something, you want to clear something up, mm, daughter cups just fall on the ground, but it's funny because I'm seeing that it's actually to give way to, wow, two cards fall on the ground, I'm not sure of the second card, we'll take a look at that in just a second, but it's to give way to, yeah, ten swords just fall on my lap, like, we're done, we're done with that cycle of also concerning ourselves with the many, many questions in relation to when, how, and why with the four of cups, like, something did not get off the ground, I'm hearing that for a number of you as well, or maybe you felt like there was just bottled up emotion, it wasn't, and I'm itching my nose right there, it wasn't actually for a number of you, as you may have felt it possible to connect quite yet, and it could be vibrationally as well, I'm hearing that, whoa, that was a whole deck, just on the ground, okay, but it fell into two piles, now, what remained in my hand was a mother of pentacles, the hermit, and the three of wands, Interestingly here, Scorpio, what I'm seeing is that the dropping of that daughter cups is actually lending way to, I'm hearing the, 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 I'm hearing the older of the two twins. I don't know what that's going to, like maybe someone feels like someone, someone is transforming. Mother wants to write the five of wants to write. Let's grab the other guy. That's actually the high bruise on the floor. This is guided. This is a guided connection. No question. Two wands reverse daughter cups up right. So um, what I'm seeing for a number of you is that you almost like bump into someone. Again, it's so serendipitous and in that moment, I'm seeing someone who maybe was waiting, kind of, maybe they had even a premonition about this, or like, I feel like that's gonna, like, kind of, like, happen. And lo and behold, I'm hearing for a number of you, like, comes a certain space of interaction that is, like, okay, it's surreal. It's, like, this, this is the moment, and I'm feeling that pressure in the cycle forever. Again, it's, like, okay, now is the time to act on it, and, um, there's a little bit of... <laughs> All right, sounds a little nervous. I'm seeing them looking at someone like from a distance and they're thinking, what do I say? <laughs> not specifically, but it's all right. I'm hearing it's not really a question and answer game. And I'm hearing, we know that. I'm looking at this page on this journal that I have sitting next to me and it's a big X on it. So for number there's a question of just the place that maybe was unexpected. Like I'm seeing a map and like something was just like, kind of like I'm hearing, all, I'm hearing automatically marked off. Like someone felt like, Oh my god, I kind of wasn't expecting this. Like I just, well, I, it happened to happen like in the middle of like the build the build a bear workshop class. I'm here to be able to focus there again. Um, yeah. So for a number of you, it's something that it's just the time and place is kind of like I honestly didn't think that I would also bump into them here. I'm here an audition for the audition. Maybe for a number of you, there's been some sort of position, uh, even professionally, that you've really had your eye on. You've wanted to like. Uh, I'm hearing communicate eventually about it, maybe even to someone. It could be like a networking opportunity and you like bump into this person. I'm seeing July 22nd actually for a number of you. For a number of you, someone's a cancer, no question. Maybe they even have a Mars in the fourth house. I'm hearing that as well. Um, but whatever it is, and I'm seeing a big capital A, um, for, I'm here for a number of you. It's someone, it's like somebody in, in, in a highly networked uh, environment, um, but you just like have it above it. I'm hearing 6, 11, and 16 as well. Now I'm hearing 26 as well, real strongly. Um, for me though, it, again, it's like, I knew that the opportunity would come about. This was the card that fell on the ground as well. It's the base of one of the two halves is the two of cups, the seven of wands. Now, uh, yeah, it's mirroring the higher font. So there is something that you, I'm hearing, I don't want to say I was like hiding it, but, and I don't want to say I was like avoiding it, but for a number of you, there was just a matter of the divine timing of it all. The mother of cups, the father of wands, and this is history that, that needed to be processed through, that needed to be cleared towers in reverse. So for a number of you, I'm hearing, yeah, I was just came to talking about the attraction. Now, at a certain point, I'm seeing that somebody is like about to, it's like this, you know, when you have like what you feel to be like, you see someone in public and you're like, okay, I, you were thinking the whole time. You're like, when I see this person, I want to like say that one thing. Okay. And it's like that moment, Scorpio, I feel like I'm sweating, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like you, when you see that person and you're thinking in that moment, maybe it's just like, hi, like you just like say, say hi, right? Or you acknowledge the connection, whatever it is in that moment. But then it like comes to that point where <laughs> you're telling yourself like, it's on me. <laughs> it's on me right now to, to, 
to say what what I am feeling. I'm hearing them, what I have been feeling, what I've wanted to communicate. And it's not something that anyone else can really like prompt me to do. So for a number of you, maybe it's a little bit of that feeling of so-called pressure where it's like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna present it. So let's jump into your extended, see what comes through there. We're gonna read further on these energies, see what exactly may be carried out, and we'll read further in a month by a month spread. Love and light to you, thank you for tuning in. Feel free to access that extended via the link in the bio box below, or you can just visit alchemy.com. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to get notified of new readings as well, specifically as we move through these months, um, I'll be posting more updates on these readings, and feel free to subscribe and ensure that the bell icon is clicked on blue so that uh, you'll get notified right when they do come out if you feel guided. Love and light to you, thank you for tuning in.